Hey everyone, the Horizon Zero Dawn remaster is here and I have good news that it is working on Steam Deck, although I am seeing some strange controller issues, which I'll cover in just a second. But it does appear that the beginning levels of this are running much more like the rest of the game now. However, that first level is definitely a lot more optimized if you look at the color schemes and how much more smooth everything is. As when we're in the main game, especially after the proving, it's not as vibrant and not as smooth but overall it is still performing pretty well now you are going to be targeting 30 frames per second on this one otherwise it's going to look like an absolute pixel fest but it is at least playable if you haven't played through the original version at least this version also has cloud saves so you can pick it up or change devices without having to start all over again but bad news you will have to go through that cutscene the very first time they still won't let you skip it controller wise i have some very strange issues with this one i have had to select a steam controller map which is actually a kind of keyboard and mouse style layout that's mapped for this even though it's the official layout and i've had to reduce the joystick sensitivity down to 75 percent because by default it was 275 percent the reason for that is because for some reason randomly through certain sections of this the r2 key for shooting a bow only stopped working so i can still use heavy attack but I was not able to shoot any bows and it gets really frustrating. I did manage to get through those sections though using melee only. With this mapping it seems to be okay for the most part but there are still sections where that seems to stop working and the only way to fix it is to restart the game. After testing a lot of the settings FSR 3 with dynamic resolution scaling at 30 frames per second is actually where this is best off. Yes it does have frame generation but you're going to see I'm going to turn it on here. Again it probably works okay in the earlier sections of this game but really in real world gameplay with the settings that I'm going to recommend which is a tweaked version of very low you'll see that the frame generation really has some major problems so keeping the very low preset but then putting texture quality on to medium and also level of detail and hair quality to low and then terrain quality to medium will give you a very good time with this overall, sticking pretty much around 30 frames per second. But as you can see, if we turn that frame generation on, things turn really fuzzy and it really does not look good, even though it does push us up into the 50 frames per second mark it really is not worth it with that quality dip. So if I keep everything else the same and just turn frame generation off, you'll see just how different this looks and it will be performing as you saw earlier on in the video as well. So just by turning that off, we get rid of all that fuzziness and we are then more closely around 30 frames per second. Now there are still some loading dips under that 30 mark very briefly, but overall it does hold that 30 quite well. And with the dynamic FSR 3, it does stay looking very good too, especially on the OLED deck with HDR enabled. It's an absolutely beautiful game, though I'm not quite sure that it's as good a remaster as just having the enhancements on the original version. I'm going to keep an eye on this one because I think it definitely needs some updates, especially to fix whatever's going on weirdly with that controller, which is probably why it's not got a official status yet. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one or waiting for an update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.